Welcome back to the Flow Friday Sports Show here on Flow FM. It's time to take a look at what's making news in the York Peninsula football world. And right now it's all about the Magic Round, or as they're calling it now, the Gather Round. Well, the fixtures have been confirmed and the AFL will officially host a weekend of football in 2023 in South Australia. This is also making news in the York Peninsula because the York Peninsula Football League is set to host a round of football on the weekend of the AFL's Magic Round next year. So I caught up with Rhiannon Kosh, who writes for the York Peninsula Country Times to find out more about this. Here's what Rhiannon had to say. So YPSL wanted to play around a football during Magic Round. So yeah, SANFL hasn't mandated a buy for that weekend. It's important to note, but um, the league is considering what the best option is, whether they give players a chance to, to go and be part of um, that weekend as AFL, or if they um, kind of just yeah, keep playing um, and continue on. So it's a bit of a logistical conundrum if they changed their um, league, if they changed the start or the, the number of games that they played based on, on this week but given they have an odd number of teams in the YPFL, there'd be a collection of buyers for some teams or if they put it back, it might start three weeks, I mean it might finish a couple of weeks later and then be more closer to um, AFL final season. So, yeah, there's a few logistical things the league's working on before they release their fixture. You've also got a story about the SNFL Women's Academy in the sports section of the York Peninsula Country Times when it comes to football coverage at the moment, Rhiannon. Um, so, we've had a couple of girls in Sinead Goody and Kaylee May selected in the SA Under 18 Girls Academy. So, they will a part of a 47 person side. They'll go to a camp in December and then start training in February before they start playing in the um, National Under-18 Champs, which is really fantastic um, for them. They will play WA, Vic Metro and Queensland throughout the year. And um, really, I mean, you see some of the best young players lining up in these um, these teams. So it'll be a really wonderful opportunity for these girls to, to give it a crack and, and um, yeah, hopefully we see them progress through to the team side. Um, um, it's been a big week for Shanae. She's also been picked in the AFL Academy, AFLW Academy. She's um, going to be, yeah, training with the national, the Australian team. She's going to be training with, um, yeah, some top players from across the country. She was amongst the best, if not the um, most valuable player at the um, national championships earlier this year and um, yeah, a huge, huge effort for her to be selected in this and um, yeah, it bodes well for her future in the sport. Round and Kosh speaking to us there from the York Peninsula Country Times bringing us in on all the latest football developments from the York Peninsula in South Australia. Well that's the first hour of our show done and dusted but there's a whole lot more coming your way this evening so stay tuned. I'll see you in a little while.